Hi, I'm Yi Chen, a PhD student in National Taiwan University and an intern at NVIDIA AI Technology Center. I want to present my work, Dart CSR, Differentiable Architecture Search for Multilingual Speech Recognition and Adaptation, co-authored by Rayan, Sun Quan, and Hong Yi. So first of all, let me introduce the background and motivation. Architectural design has played an important role in deep learning. For example, researchers have kept inventing new state-of-the-art CN model architectures on image classification tasks. The original VGG model has a simpler architecture with lower accuracy on ImageNet dataset. And inception models have more complex architectures and better performance. However, traditionally, the architectural design of such successful models have always relied on human experience and intuition, taking a lot of effort on trial and errors to design complex architectures. So many researchers study to study neural architecture search on image classification. Its goal is to use a search algorithm to automatically search for a good architecture in a predefined search space. For example, a mobile net achieves better accuracy the models designed by human. We can further take a look at this figure. Edge point represents a, a model with its corresponding parameter size and accuracy on image net. Efficient nets on the red lines and a mobile nets, NAS nets on the blue line are architectures found by some architecture search algorithms. These automatically found architectures have better performance on image classification than traditional human design models under the condition of similar parameter size. However, on the task of speech recognition, there is little attention on neural architecture search. Even the traditional VGG architecture is still used in many SR models. So in this work, we want to study neural architecture search on SR models. There are two settings in this work. In the first one, we perform monolingual ASR. <clears throat> Given data of a language, we want to use an architecture search algorithm to find a good architecture for this language. <clears throat> and in the second one, we perform multilingual ASR, where we have data of several languages. In this setting, we want to use the architecture search algorithm to find one general good architecture for many languages. <coughs> so in this paper, we propose DART ASR, Differentiable Architecture Search on Automatic Speech Recognition. It consists of a CN module, a BIOS TN module, and several decoding heads. The input X is a segment of acoustic features such as male filter banks. And for each different language, a specific head is used to output a transcription text sequence. The objective function is the CTC loss computed with our predictions and labels. And we use differentiable architecture search on the CN module to find a good CN architecture. Next, I'm going to describe differentiable architecture search or DARTS. If we want to transform a CN feature map into another, we have many choices such as convolutions, pooling, or skip connection. So the goal of DARTS is to select the suitable transformation for feature maps automatically. First of all, we have to define some transformation candidates. And each candidate can transform the input feature map into another. Then the weighted sum g of h of these transformed feature maps is computed with some continuous variables alpha. And with this softmax equation. Here, the F represents a transformation candidate. And this softmax over transformations can be regarded as the selection of architecture. To be simpler, let's call the softmax weighted sum operation between the transformation feature map G of H and the original feature map H and H. Then for the whole search space of darts, we can define many intermediate feature maps. For each feature map, there are input edges connected with all its 
previous feature maps. The feature map outputs of these input edges are summed into one final feature map. And the variables alpha in softmax are jointly trained with parameter weights directly by gradient descent. This optimization process can be considered as controlling the architecture and parameter weights together. In our following experiments, we have two settings, monolingual and multilingual ASR. The dataset is a multilingual corpus Babel. We use four target languages in Babel for training and testing. And in the multilingual setting, three additional languages are used to pre-train the model. The acoustic features are 80-dimensional male filter banks and three-dimensional pitch features. I will describe the two settings in more details later. And there are seven transformation candidates used in DARTs in this paper, including standard convolutions, dialectic convolutions, max pooling, average pooling, and scale connection. The fixed architecture BGG has commonly used in ASR models, so it serves as our baseline. To match the depth of BGG, our search space of DARTs consists of five intermediate feature maps. First, I want to show the monolingual ASR results. In the monolingual ASR setting, for each different target language, a different ASR model is trained and tested separately with data of this language. Here are the character error rates of each model using different CN modules on different target languages. The second rightmost column, the full DARS ASR means there are seven transformation candidates at this as described before, before. And the rightmost column, they only come three by three dark CSR, means there is only three by three convolution in each age. So in the whole CA module, there are only three by three convolutions to transform the feature map. We adjust the channel size in convolutions to make the parameter size match full dark CSR. From this table, we can see the full dark CSR outperforms um, the only convolution 3 by 3 DARS ASR. It indicates the variety of transformation candidates is actually helpful, allowing DARS to search for a suitable transformation in each age. And the left most column in this table, BGG small, is commonly used in literature. And BGG large is the one with larger channel size matching the parameter size of two DARS ASR variants. From this table, we can see both two DARS ASR variants outperform two VGG variants. It indicating given the same depth and parameter size, the automatically searched architectures can perform better than fixed architecture models. We also plot the curves of validation losses of ASR models with VGG or the full DARS ASR. The solid lines are the results of VGG and the dashed lines are those of DARS ASR. From these lines, we can observe the convergence of VGG is generally faster than DARS ASR. But DARS ASR can reach much lower validation losses in the end. We further plot and analyze the search architectures by the full DARS ASR. To simplify the illustration of architecture, we use a node to represent a feature map. And for each node, we plot the most dominant transformation among all tr candidates in all input ages. The search architectures for each language on monolingual ASR is shown here. The architectures of Vietnamese and Swahili are similar. They are very shallow, and all of the dominant transformations are standard convolutions. The architectures of Tamil and Kermanji are quite different from one another. Interestingly, in deeper architectures, the dialectic convolutions are used more often. Next, I'm going to describe the multilingual ASR setting. In this setting, we pre-train a single shared ASR model on all source languages, except different heads for different languages, hoping to find a generally good architecture for many languages. Then we fine tune the pre-trained model on target languages to see the generalizability of DART ASR. As for fine tuning, we experiment with three adaptation approaches in multilingual ASR. 
The first one, we adapt only parameter weights. The continuous variables above from pre-training are fixed. That is, the network architecture is learned from the source languages. And with the learned languages, and with the learned architecture, its network parameters are learned from the target language. In the second one, we adapt both parameter weights and architecture. Both alpha and parameter weights in the transformations keep being trained. That is, both the network architecture and network parameters learned from source languages are further fine-tuned on the target language. In the third one, the architecture learned from the source languages is pruned by removing all transformations, but the top few ones with the highest alpha values in each age. Then the pruned alpha keep being fine-tuned during the with the remaining parameter weights. So we present the ASR results under the monolingual setting. The model is first pre-trained on three source languages and then adapted on the same four different target languages. We first compare three adaptation approaches. From this table, we can observe that adapting both architecture and parameter weights obtains the best performance on every CR. However, the other two adaptation approaches are only a little worse. It indicates after pre-training, DARS ASR can find a generally good architecture and parameter weights for different languages. And the pruned architecture can reduce computational cost while suffering little performance drop. We then use the fine-tuning approach that adapts both architecture and parameter weights for DARS ASR in the following experiments. In this table, VGG modules and DARS ASR are compared in the multilingual ASR setting. All three kinds of CM modules get much better performance on multilingual ASR than monolingual ASR. Among those, DARS ASR still outperforms both VGG and VGG small and VGG large by a significant margin. It indicates DARS ASR can also benefit from multilingual learning to build a shared acoustic pre-trained model with a better architecture and parameter weight. Here we also plot the search architectures of DARS ASR on four target languages. For multilingual ASR, of the four search architectures are quite similar. Convolutions with larger kernel sizes are dominant. Here they are all five by five. Similarly, dialectic convolutions are dominant in deeper architectures. This result shows that this kind of architecture is the architecture generally suitable for a wide range of languages. In conclusion, we apply a differentiable architecture search approach on ASR. And the architecture searched by Darsh ASR can achieve better performance on both monolingual and multilingual ASR than traditional fixed architecture models. In addition, Multilingual pre-training for architectures can help find an architecture generally suitable for a wide range of languages. In future work, DARS ASR can be incorporated with other ASR or meta-learning approaches for further improvement. We can also experiment on larger scale models or data sets. Moreover, we may also experiment on different speech-related tasks. And we can explore some new transformation operations. Thanks for your attention.